Some people like large ones, some people like small ones. And today, we'll have a small pen, fountain pen shootout. And more specifically, we'll be talking about two very small pens that are almost the same size. However, one is considerably more expensive than the other one, and I thought, I thought it would be a nice idea to see if that's completely justified. And this is actually an, an idea someone suggested to me. We'll be looking at the Jean-Pierre Lépin Indigo. This is the uh, Indigo Knight, I think. And the Delta Dolce Vita Mini. Okay, so what's funny about these pens? Well, what's funny about these pens is that they are very small. These are obviously pocket pens, not meant to be oversized pens, not meant to be big pens, meant to be small pocket pens, easy to carry around. Here you have a very decently sized Visconti pen, I would say. It's not a true oversized, it's not super big, it's not small either. Here you have a Delta Dolce Vita Mini, so that kind of shows you what size we're talking about. Uh, my little finger and the pen, so it's, it's, these are smaller pens. Let's start with this one because I'm holding it. <coughs> Sorry. These are, <coughs> the, the Dolce Vita line is a line of pens. You have the oversized, you have the uh, a medium size, and you also have this mini size. Clearly the smallest one in the bunch. But actually what's funny about it is that it does have a gold nib. And I don't have a loop here. I want to say it's 14 karat, but it could even be 18 karat. But I'm fairly certain it's 14 karat. Um, really small. I mean, just look at the, the size of this cute little nib. It's really small. And then let me pull out that uh, Visconti I mentioned before, and you will see that it really is a small nib. In fact, here's a loop. So you can see a little bit more of the details. Now you can see, maybe, but it is 14K. Um, a very small cute little nib and as far as I know these only came in medium so you cannot get a broad or a double broad of this just a medium very small a very nice material I love that orange um, you can use these pens as an eyedropper although my experiences with it have not been so great I didn't find it to to have good flow with that so I put in the cartridge all right Screw that back in. It just takes international short cartridges, so that's, that makes it very versatile. I can get these in a lot of places. And once you post the pen, and it posts securely, uh, you get a, I wouldn't say a full-sized pen, but it's it's definitely usable. Even if you have somewhat larger hands, uh, I think you can get away with using this pen. Very nice, quite expensive. And <clears throat> one of the reasons it's so expensive, of course, is that it has a gold nib. Um, but also... It's Delta, it's some exclusive brand, but you will pay a bit for this. A much cheaper option, uh, or maybe I should say less expensive, some people have some negative associations with cheaper, uh, is this pen, Jean-Pierre Lépine Indigo. Um, and I love this pen. This is one of the, the earlier pens I got. It's been in my possession for uh, quite a while until I lost the actual pen at the DC Pen Show. But I bought a replacement, which goes to indicate how much I like the pen. A very small pen, and one of the things I like is that you actually screw the cap on the end, and it doesn't take a lot of twists, a lot of turns. It's very easy. I think it's a turn and a half or so, and it's on there, so it doesn't take half an hour to assemble your pen to make it right. And then you have another relatively full-size pen. As you can see, the uh, clip is not aligned very usefully right now because it pokes into my hand but you can adjust the nib and feed the way you put them in. They have a nib collar you can screw it out and uh, uh, manipulate that a bit so that they will line up perfectly. Just wanted to point that out. A lot of chrome accents here and the nib is steel not gold which really reduces the price. I think you can buy these for about I think 70 euros or something which is still not very cheap for a pen of this size but I think this is really worth it. Uh, the nib, I'll, I'll get out the loop again. Um, the nib, I think, is a nice piece of work. That really has some nice detail on it. And this particular one was a little bit dry. I made it a little bit wetter. 
uh, but the previous one I had, I think, wrote pretty well straight out of the box, so maybe just this one was a bit dry. It's a nice nib and a decent size, and if you compare the two nibs, just size-wise, you'll see what I mean. This really goes to show how extremely small the Delta nib is. Um, and it, it writes well, but as I said, very, very small. Okay, so I like that. I like the fact that this uh, Nippin pen has that ball at the end of the clip. makes it very easy to slip it into a pocket. And the Dolce Vita actually has a small wheel on the clip that does the same thing. So, two very nice pens. Clearly very different in finish and definitely very different in price. But, fun pens to use. Now, I think we should put these to the test, write with them side by side, and see what the differences are. That's what I'm going to do next. I hope this was useful, and um, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye. All right, so let's have a look at two small pens. The paper is Oxford, and this would be the Delta Dolce Vita Mini. This is a medium nib, and the ink is Mont Blanc Irish green. The other pen is a Jean-Pierre Lépine uh, Indigo Knight, which has a medium nib and it's the same ink. Okay, so Let's see if this pen can make the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. As well as a little look at the wetness of the nib. I think I've altered the wetness just a little bit on this pen, make it a little bit wetter. As you can see, it has a little bit of line variation. The Lipine I've definitely made a bit wetter. I also love Mont Blanc Irish Green, by the way. Very nice dark ink with a lot of nice shading, especially in wetter nibs. This one is definitely wet, but not so much line variation as the Delta. So, there you have it. Two small pens. Quite different in their looks, and yet two very fun writers. I think you could definitely do worse than get the uh, Indigo when you're looking for a small pocket pen that's that's affordable and yet not completely cheap and plasticky looking. Um, two very fun pens. I hope this was useful, and um, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.